it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. For Topic Tuesday today we are going to talk about my international blush collection. That is what I'm just kind of calling the blushes that have either I have picked up uh, a couple of these I think I bought from Sleek but or they have been gifted to me or that sort of thing from beautiful subscribers and friends that live in other countries. So let's go international shall we? <laughs> so the first ones that I want to talk about are from Catrice. And Catrice is a brand that is available, I, I, I think Germany, Austria, there, there are other countries I believe that it's available as well, but those are the ones I know for sure. So, and I don't know, like this one as I'm looking is in is limited edition, so I'll just kind of say what I can say as I go through. And I won't be able to link anything for this because, well, some of them, actually some of them I should be able to. Anyway, this is a limited edition female cream to powder blush in a woman's world. So it looks like this. And you can see I try to stay right there. So that is what that looks like. I'll try to blend it out just a little bit, but um, it's really, really, really pretty. But, you know, the combination of it being, um, like, international and of it being... Um, Limited edition, I don't use it a lot because, well, you know, I need to use my products. I know, we've discussed. Okay, so this one is a duo, uh, defining duo blush in chocolate cream. So it looks like that. This is really pretty to use, kind of actually with this sort of look, like what I have on today. A good kind of easy go-to blush. This one is in, it's another duo defining blush in Apricot Smoothie. And a lot of these were sent to me by Baby Cake 390 which I will link below if you do not check. I was going to say their channel, but it's just, it's just one of them now. This one is the one I've used probably the most often of all of them, and it's in this beautiful packaging. All the Catrice products are in this pretty packaging. And these are not, to my knowledge, every time I've looked so far, these are not Catrice products that are available at Ulta for some reason. This is a limited edition in De Trois. It's just a really beautiful, everyday, go-to, mid-tone. My favorite. <laughs> right there. And then the last two I have from Catrice are in different packaging. This was a limited edition in Rocking Royals. This is so gorgeous. It's the prettiest kind of like purple shift to it. Right there. Was sent, that one was sent to me, I think, by Andrea, if I remember right. And then this one is limited edition creme fresh and graduation blush, Waterloo Sun Sunrise. It's like that. It's so pretty. I'm a sucker for an ombre anyway. And that's just one. Like, look at that. The Catrice products that I've tried are so nice. I wish they would bring the whole line to Ulta. And maybe they will if, if it goes well. Next I have some bourgeois products and these were sent to me by a, um, Annette, a, friend, a subscriber friend, Annette, who had disappeared for a while and has just come back. Welcome back. And um, then Hash sent me one and I think Sandy sent me the cream one. So anyway, this is, these are these cute little packaging like this. You can see how teeny tiny it is. And some of them smell more strong than others, but they do kind of have a perfumey scent. And this is the one in blush. It's the blush in blush. So that looks like that right there. And then this one is in rose. So it looks like that. It's, this one is so pretty. Well, they all are. I'm a sucker for blush, clearly. This is one in love struck. It's got a couple. It says rose coupe de foudre. Faud French was a long time ago. Love Struck Rose, number 16. So it looks like that. It's more peach to it. These are very nice. I find that they they last okay. They don't last like a lifetime on your cheeks, but they, they last okay. Um, the Catrice ones, by the way, last a really long time on, on the cheeks. They're, 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 those are really, really nice products. And then the last one that I have is in this. And this one, when I first got it, I used it forever. I wouldn't stop talking about it. And I know it was in my favorites a little bit. And this is a cream blush. And this is in number four, Sweet Cherry. I was looking all over and the, it's right on the top. I knew it had cherry in it. And let's go right here. And this is a very interesting, I don't know how I can show you this. 
it's very a very interesting consistency. It's definitely creamy, but the minute it touches the skin, it goes to a powder. I really like this one. It lasts forever. All right, then I have four from Sleek, three that were gifts, and then one that actually I got from Sleek just recently. So the ones that I've had for a long time, and I've talked about these quite a bit, actually. This is the packaging, and these are still available. These I know I can link below because you can purchase these. This is in rose gold. This is so gorgeous, but, I mean, it has some, there's some sheen to it. This is the one I think I was talking the other in a video recently. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm, but this one has a little more pigment to it than NARS Orgasm. Beautiful peachy pink, every skin tone sort of shade. And then I'm smirking at peachy pink. It's a, it's a description. Now this one, ready? Are you ready? This is Flamingo. Who buddy is that bright? See that? I mean... These are really nice. They blend onto the skin pretty well, and they last a decent amount of time, but you have to be careful. It's kind of like the Wet n Wild blushes. You have to be really careful, or you're going to be like blush face in no time. <laughs> and then the last one, this is one of my favorites in fall. This is in Pomegranate. I was wearing this in a video not that long ago. I'm recording a bunch in advance because I have a ton going on here in the next few weeks, so I'm kind of losing track of when you're seeing these. I don't normally film this much in advance. So that is pomegranate. Just stunning. Stunning this time of year. And then the most recent one to my collection is the one, like I said, that Sleek sent me in this blogger box. And this is a cream to powder. And so, sorry, I should show you. This looks, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks a little bit like NARS packaging. It has the same kind of rubbery pick up all sorts of dirt packaging. Looks like that. And this one, I find... I'm still working with it to find the best way. So that's just the mark. So that looks like crazy pigmented. When you blend it out, you do still get a really pretty, when you do it with your fingers. I prefer to use like a small stipple brush, you know, the elf small stipple brush that we all love so much. I prefer to use that. I kind of tend to feel like it, it rubs away my foundation a little bit. I'm still playing with it though. Jury's still out, but it's in my collection, so I'm showing it to you. Not a full review game. So next is the MUA. I'm sorry, this one's going to be longer than the rest of them. Um, MUA is one that I've had some from a friend of mine from Tina from a long time ago. Um, some from Lorna, who's a, sub a subscriber. And some I ordered somewhere, I think. I cannot remember at any rate. I think most of them are from Lorna. So this is in the one, this is in shade number six. They, all the packaging looks like this, except for one. So I'll show you the, the other one, but. So that is number six. I was just, no, that wasn't in a video. I was going to say, I was just wearing this in a video, but that is a lie. This is the one in the shade number four. It's a beautiful pink. Now, I, I feel like MUA is being carried, or is that another brand? Like it's a CVS or something? There it is right there. I don't have CVS here, so I can't. I'll link whatever I can find below, as always. So this is a really pretty kind of brownie bronzy sort of shade. This is in number six. Looks like that. This I think would be a really pretty highlight on the darker skin tone. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that'd be pretty eyeshadow. That would totally be a pretty eyeshadow. This is random information from games. This is in the shade number five. This one is a little bit chalkier than the rest for some, for some reason. There you go. It's shade number five. Number three. Right there. Look at how nice those are. And that's all just one, one swipe. And this one is in Candy Floss. And this one looks different. If I can, it has, it still looks similar like this, but then it, ha it opens up this way instead of up. And um, I can't, I feel bad because like, I don't remember which, where this one came from. But... What's interesting about it is when you look at it in the in the pan, hopefully you can see, it doesn't look like it's all that, but it comes off as a really kind of pretty, almost bubble gummy, like a muted bubble gummy pink. It's really pretty. The next four are from Annabelle, and again, I'll show you the packaging on the one so you can see it looks like this. And this is a Canadian company. These were all sent to me by um, Norma, who's a longtime subscriber. This is the one in Pronto, and this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And that is Pronto right there. So it's, I kind of have a little bit more as a, add some, add some dimension into my face versus a blush sort of shade. It's really, it's, it's fun to play with those kind of shades. Anyway, 
This is the one in Rose Fawn, and I've had this in a favorites before. I've had this one the longest of all of them. That is Rose Fawn right there. This is the one in Golden Bronze. Golden Bronze is right there. This is Chestnut. There is Chestnut. And then the last one, this is so pretty, is in Rosewood. Like if that doesn't scream fall and winter, we'll go down here with it. I don't know what does. Right there. So stunning. Okay, we're down to our last six. Stick with me, people. Stick with me. <laughs> this one, I can never get this open. It's from Gosh. Oh, I think because I always push and it's... Whew, I got it open. All right, so this looks like this. And that is the shade there. And obviously, you can try to keep it in one or mix it all in the, together. And that's what I do, which and then it ends up looking like that to like clean it off with a brush. It's very, very pretty. There you go. And it blends really well. I have a few things from Gosh, not a ton, but... Very, that's very, very pretty. This is um, the blush from El Verde in Flamingo. Yes, and this was the gift from Baby Cake 390. And this one I love. I've had this in a favorites. I think it maybe even made a yearly favorites at one point. Um, really, really stunning. And not as scary on as it looks in the pan. So that is Flamingo. My friend Sammy from Miss May 27 sent me this one, and this is by Deborah Milano, and it's in Cacao, number 12. And this is another one that, like what I like, kind of what I'm wearing today, where you can use to really contour your face a little bit, like with but using it as a blush at the same time. It's right there. I hope that makes sense. It does in my little brain. And then this, my friend Erica, who she used to make videos and she no longer does from Australia, she sent this to me. And this is um, Model & Co. blush. It's really cute packaging. And this is in Peach Bellini. I wear this a lot in summer. This summer, I'm not sure I pulled it out. I think I slacked a little. I've had this one for a couple years. So that's built up just a little bit, so you can see there. So pretty. And then this one I know was limited edition. I've talked about it a couple times. I just showed it in my favorites. It's so stunning. It's by Art Deco, and it's the Bronzing Glow Blusher Limited Edition. Um, and I was afraid the pattern would go away, but it did not. It's so pretty. And it just is so pretty on. It's just like the perfect, it's a nice go-to blush, again. And then the last one, I know you can get, somebody has told me you can get these, maybe it. Navies? Is that how you say it in California? I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's a Liz Wattier blush in Lie de Vin. And this, um, I believe, Stephanie from Flourish XO sent it to me. Anybody that I talked about, I will, of course, list below for you guys. And any links I can find. So there it is. Mmm. So pretty. This is a good one to pull out for this time of year as well. All right, so that is it for my international blushes. Whew, I feel like that is a long video, but... I have been very blessed. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that for those of you that wanted to see it. Um, I have been asked if I would do my the rest of my blush collection, like my higher end blushes and that sort of thing. If you really want to see that, I can go ahead and do that. So let me know. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So on my face today, I still have the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. For a blush, as I said, I have the Annabelle blush. I grab it in Pronto, the Annabelle blush in Pronto. On my eyes today, I have another look from a Four Looks Two Palettes that's coming up with the Urban, nope, Lies, Lorac um, Pro Metals and Pro Matte. So look for that soon, hopefully. I don't think you've already seen it yet. <laughs> Just depends. And then on my lips today, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie, Maybelline in, the Maybelline Creamy Matte in Divine Wine. And I think that that is everything. Oh, for eyeliner today, I have the Bobbi Brown in um, Chocolate Shimmer Ink. And that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.